You and I will never stop being tempted. Haram will always be in front of us. And it will call us. Ashaytanu ya'idukum wal faqr. Shaitan will promise you bankruptcy. In other words, when you go down the road of halal, Shaitan will promise you, you're missing out, you're missing out, you're missing out. You could be having so much more fun. You could be making so much more money. You could be having so much more pleasure. He's constantly going to market to you alternative <laughs> products, alternative ways of fulfilling yourself. It will never stop. It doesn't matter how long you grow your beard. It doesn't matter how much Qur'an you memorize. It doesn't matter how much tahajjud you pray. None of that will matter. Shaitan will not stop. You will still be human being at the end of the day. You will still have those desires at the end of the day. And shaitan will not stop. He will keep going at you. And it is in those times that shaitan, you know, the, the tactic that Allah describes of him, the psychological tactic, is زَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ Shaitan beautified their deeds to them. Shaitan will come to you and you're tempted to do something wrong. And you say, yes, it is wrong, but I also do a lot of good. Yeah, I did mess up, but I prayed too. You know, and it's not like I'm a kafir. So it's okay, I mean, this is just... And I'm gonna stop after this time. It's not like I'm gonna do it later. I'm just doing it this one time. You start telling yourself all of these rationalizations. You start justifying it to yourself. In your head, it's not that bad. And then of course, you're around people who when you tell them, you know, this is wrong, they also tell you, no man, come on, it's not that bad. Stop, don't talk like that. No, Allah is not like that. Allah doesn't want to punish you. Why are you going to talk so depressing? You're so extreme. And then you listen to that and it starts impacting you and you start saying to yourself, yeah, okay, you know. But that, that, that time you did it, whatever you did, whether it was drugs or alcohol or whether it was something with someone, I don't want to know. But whatever that was, and you told yourself it's the last time, it wasn't. Because as soon as the last time and the guilt over a couple of days, then there's another text message. Then there's another da'wah. You know? And you're like, no, this is the last time. And you go through that cycle again. And you do it again. And you keep on going. This is exactly what shaitan wanted. 